five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's the Ramble, and we go from now until, of course, yeah, midnight. It's time once again to make ourselves a uh, little call here, and I'm going to put a track in here, and... Maybe you like taking LSD, that magic sugar cube, freaking out, blowing your mind and taking the trip. Well, there's another kind of magic cube they can take down a trip. The library's full of them. They're called books. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I just watched two drag nets in a row. I'm just in the mood. I'm in a Jack Webb kind of mood. You're in a Jack Webb kind of mood? Maybe you think marijuana is harmless. You can call it anything you want. Weed, reefer, grass, tea, muggles. But it all ends up in one place, a one-way ticket to a town called Misery. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Good old Jack Webb. Hello, Stephen Pearl. Thank you, Alex Bennett. What's going on? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy everything. I'm eating bread. And to the Native Americans, I want to say happy Thursday. May it pass quickly. But uh, yeah. bread is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F- full of your carbs and your crust and your greens and your wheats, all of that good stuff there. Mm-hmm. So what do you do uh, now? You see, this is going to, well, wait a minute. This is going to be, t- yeah, it's going to be on tonight. Uh, what, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Well, I got a couple of places to go to. I'm going to go to one pl- friend's place in, in, the, in the early afternoon and then another friend's place in the late afternoon. I won't eat too much. And that's it. It's busy. It'll be a good Thanksgiving. It's a pity meal, right? What, what's that? It's a pity meal. They go, oh, he has, yes. no, he has nowhere to go. Let's invite him over here. Exactly, yeah. He's a bum. He's got nowhere to go. And he's got a car. Have him over. That's the reason I get my comedy gigs. Call Paul. He has a car. Hey, okay. That's, I'll be here. that's why I, uh, that's why I, I like and, and love, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 Thanksgiving. Uh, is because of that exact attitude. Hey, you know, let's invite some people over who have nowhere to go, you know? Yeah, there you go. A bunch of ragamuffins. A bunch of bunch of ragamuffins. A bunch of, <laughs> of ne'er do wells, hooligans, tough yeah, guys, I don't mugs, know. a bunch of mugs. I don't think I've heard that term in years. Yeah. <laughs> ragamuffins. What's the ne'er do wells? Ragamuffins. The so ragamuffins like, like and ne'er do wells. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. So what are you doing? What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, well, the wife is making some stuff, and she's invited a lot of people over, and she doesn't have enough turkey. Oh, there you go. Well, so uh, I'm going to have an old-fashioned Thanksgiving. I'm going to invite a Navajo family over and give them turkey and corn and cranberry sauce and stuffing. Then I'm going to take their land and kill them. Give them an old-fashioned Thanksgiving. Yeah, but don't call it don't call it uh, bread. Uh, call it the uh, uh, maize. Or that's yeah, corn. That's, Wait a that's corn. Call it, we call it maize. We call it maize. We call it, we call it mass genocide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was uh, we we were really nice to them, weren't we? Yeah, too nice. Yeah. Too nice. Yeah. And we yeah. figured nobody's using the land. <laughs> we discovered it. Yeah, so there are people here already. Yeah. As a Charlie Hill, the, the late comedian, my good friend used to say, "Well, using that logic, I saw a Porsche in the parking lot of IHOP. Nobody was using it. Hey, I discovered it." <laughs> <laughs> so um so anyway so you you're going to you're going to do okay on, on uh that day. Yeah, it'll be fun it'll be fun then it'll be back yeah. to reality and uh, I'll be I'll be uh looking for work so you know yeah be fun yeah so i uh, i i you know uh, so i just uh, i uh, well i found out that yesterday i have prostate cancer Oh, that's good. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hey. Well, what, can, what can they do? Can they take it out, or what can they do? No, they go. They, it, no, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's of a nature that it is moderately aggressive. Okay. Uh-huh. So um, we go for um, uh, making me glow up. 
uh, uh, radiation. So. Okay. We're giving you 40 years to live. Yeah, well, he, they, you know, he told me this ain't going to kill me. That's what he said. Okay. But I don't, nah, you're tough. I don't trust him because he never returns my calls. So, you know, oh, who yeah. knows? One of them. Who knows? Yeah. Dr. Mal, Dr. Mal practice, Dr. Yeah. Mal. <laughs> Dr. Mal. Dr. Oh, Mal practice. And, and <laughs> Dr. Rusty, Dr. Rusty Hanger, the abortion specialist, Dr. <laughs> Rusty Hanger, and his nurse, Miss Carriage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Did These you... are the jokes that kept me off Star Search in the 80s, folks. Hope you're enjoying them. Really? Is that an old joke of yours? Nah, I didn't probably. <laughs> huh? Did you write that joke? Hey, I told it. Good enough. Oh, okay. All right. Well, th let me ask you about stealing jokes. Yes. Now, you don't really steal many jokes. You're not... No, I might use a couple of old uh, stock lines here and there just to pepper the evening up, but no, I try not to steal anything. Yeah. I had a theory. I always, uh, whenever I used a line that I knew was a comics, and and I would usually use a lot of those because I hung a, a I hung around comics, and secondly, I have no particular talent of my own to come up with jokes. Okay. Well, you, then you could be a writer. Well, no, no, I <laughs> you can write on a sitcom. I actually have written some very funny jokes in my time. Uh, ones, in, ones, in fact, that's like Slayton would say to me, do you mind if I use that? I go right ahead. I'm uh -huh. not a comedian. I'm not going to use it anywhere else, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, I can't remember jokes I've written. That's my problem. Uh, oh, oh, believe me, I have that problem big time. Like right. somebody else say something funny. Oh, wow, did he come up with that? No, you did. I saw no, you do it a couple uh, years uh, ago. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I forgot. I'll, I'll give you one of those jokes. I can't remember this one. I just I just remembered it, okay? Which is um, uh, Peter Townsend is losing their is losing his hearing. Remember when he was losing his hearing? So they're uh -huh. changing the name of the who to the what? <laughs> the A? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Rick Overton once I saw him do it on stage once. He did Peter Townsend's ears now. He's so deaf to like the blown out speakers of a '64 Chevy. His manager comes in and he's, <laughs> <laughs> he, "What was that?" <laughs> That's how he hears everything. You know, but then again, there were other jokes that I would use, and and now when I use them, I don't. I, I used to credit the people who told them to me, but now I can't remember who told them to me. So how am I going to credit them? You know? Ah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I did have one of Goldthwaite's the other night that I said, and I cr credited Goldthwaite for it, uh, uh -huh. and that was, uh, I lost my job. Well, I didn't really lose my job. I'm just not going there anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's I know, guy going I, there. I, I, guy no, doing it. <laughs> excuse me. I know, what, I know where it is, uh, but yeah. I am not going there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I get quoted a lot, but really misquoted. Well, as Stephen Pearl said, a rocking chair that can breathe is something that should be on Mars. No, that's not really what I said. But. Yeah, I mean, uh, did Robin ever steal any of your jokes? I think he probably did. Robin? Oh, yeah. Take a wild guess. Yeah, I got, I got paid a few times. Oh, really? Oh, sure, but yeah. Oh, if he nailed them, he, he got a check the next day. Oh, okay. So you, if, I had several of them. You, <laughs> My rent was paid for about six. No, months. you should have just gone up to him and said, "You know that joke you did tonight? That's mine. It might not have been, but you'll I, get a check anyway." I did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you just tell him it's yours. He won't remember. So you know, oh yeah, you make a living just telling Robin he did your stuff. So. <laughs> Robin had a real problem that way. Um, well, he didn't remember because I. He just his mind went so many places at once. He didn't have much of a memory, so I don't think he'd deliberately steal something. He would just say something, and then maybe when it was halfway out of his mouth, he, he thought, oh, man, I think somebody else was, or he didn't think of it at all but until somebody nailed him on it. So, uh, you know, I don't think he was a deliberate thief like Carlos Mencia or something like that who just goes out of his way to steal. But uh, he, yeah. Yeah, it did happen. And, I, you know, when he got when he got nailed, he paid. So, uh, you know, uh, and he's I, also I, so brilliant on his own without doing that stuff. So it, it was it, just part of the package and he had to deal with it. Well, the thing is, is that I I, um, I knew somebody, I can't remember who it was, who said he was with Robin one night in a, in a, in a limo. They were driving somewhere, going somewhere, and he told, said something to Robin that was like a joke, right? Yeah. Uh. And about five minutes later, Robin looked <laughs> over at him and told him the same joke back. 
Yeah, I'm sure. It, <laughs> he didn't remember. It's like, yeah, it's like he would absorb this stuff, and then he didn't know where he got it. It was kind of like yeah. you know, George Harrison and He's So Fine. You know, he didn't know exactly, where he... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It happens. Unfortunately, it happened with him a few times. But, you know, he was still so good on his own without doing that shit. So, hey, when it happened, you just have to, what can you do? You just say, hey, that's mine. And you get the check and move on. Mm-hmm. And I would continue to do that yeah. stuff that he took of mine. And nobody called us. Nobody said, that's Robin. Nobody remembered he did so much stuff. So. It, it happens a lot in music. Uh, uh, because, uh, for instance, He's So Fine is, is a good example yeah. that... It was uh, My sure. Sweet Lord Was He So Fine by the Chiffon. Same exact melody, everything. But that he could have been oh, sitting yeah. there trying to write a song, and this melody mm-hmm. came into his mind, and he didn't even know where it came from. Exactly. He just thought it was exactly. his, and then he wrote it down, and he did it. Um, exactly. Yeah. There, There is one that you go back to, uh, if you think I'm sexy and you want my body, you know, that uh, uh, Rod Stewart song. If you think. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like some Brazilian no. song or something. Yes. Oh, well, I have that. It's it's Jorge. You played it for me at your house one night in Jor- San Francisco many years ago. Jorge. It was like, yeah, it was the yeah. same melody. <laughs> Jor- Jor- Jorge Ben. And the whole yeah. he goes and his chorus and back and goes da 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 and the uh, the settlement was that uh, Rod Stewart had to uh, it was not, relinquish the song back to you know Jorge Ben, but uh-huh. in, instead what Stewart offered to do was to turn over all his royalties from that song to charity. Ah, that's good. That's, a, that's yeah. fair. So yeah, and Jorge, like Led Zeppelin also ripped off a lot of stuff and got nailed yeah. for it. But, <laughs> but I mean, this wasn't just a theft, folks. This was a blatant. Steal. I mean, just. Oh, it was blatant. I mean, I played. I played it for you, and you just went what? You know. Yeah. And by the way, I had heard that song years earlier in Ibiza, Spain, uh, uh, of all places, and I went looking for that uh-huh. record uh, everywhere, and I finally found the album that it was on. I didn't know wow. who it was or what it was, but I finally found it. <laughs> and and then Rod Stewart comes out with "If You Think I'm Sexy," and I never. Put the two together. Oh wow, it's a different arrangement, I guess. So you know, kind well, of I just, it's just, just enough. It's just I never thought of it in that context. You know, to begin with, there was a different language, and he wasn't yeah. singing. If you think I'm sexy, you know, uh, it's called uh-huh. Taj Mahal, <laughs> and it's kind of almost a rip off of uh, George Harrison, you know, yeah, and his uh, religious yep. stuff. But uh, you know, people, people will steal unconsciously. You know, I mean. Yep. I, I've, I've thought up a joke, and then all of a sudden I realized, no, I heard it somewhere else, you know, that, that it, sure. it, and I thought I it was original. Have you ever had that happen where you've done a oh. joke? Because you're really, you're really fast, and you're, you're, you're like Robin in that respect, and, and um, you know, you're absorbing stuff around you like a sponge, and so you yeah. hear a good line, and you don't pay, you think about it, and then you throw it out. Some, have you ever done that? Yeah, well, I've thought of a lot of stuff, you know, and I still do it. Like, did somebody else do that? This sounds really funny, but it sounds like something, somebody must have done it. And uh, sometimes, most of the time, nobody's done it, but lucky me. But uh, once in a while, somebody say, hey, somebody else did that. So, oh, sorry, I won't do it anymore. Have you, ever heard some, happens, you know? have you ever heard somebody do a joke, and then you said to yourself, uh, why didn't I think of that joke? That's such, so obvious. Uh, Oh, I get mad at him. I go, fuck, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I get pissed off. Amazing. Amazing. It happens. It happens. What are you going to do? Yeah. Just keep thinking. Keep thinking of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, you know. So it, my mind don't work no more. Yeah. So you've been working a lot down, <laughs> been working a lot down there in Vegas? Uh, November's been thin, but December's picking up, and January's real good so far. So, uh I'm also at one of these Thanksgiving things tomorrow. going to be a lot of comics, so I'm going to try to network and uh, talk business at the table and uh, to see if I can get some more clubs and dates and, you know, whatever. I don't want to work all the time, but, you know, enough to pay the bills and have a little leftover for this and that. So, yeah. you know, I'm happy staying home, too, and just chilling with the cats and watching TV or whatever. What's the, what's so the, my, I'm 64 now, David. I'm an old man. Get off my lawn. What, what, what's the, uh, what, what's the, what do you call it like? What's the, uh, um... Uh, what, uh, what what was I going to say? Uh, um, hmm. 
I'm, all, uh, I'm really uh, out of it. Alike. I don't believe so. I forgot completely what I was going to ask you. You forgot. Brain fart, brain fart. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. You're on the stuff, aren't you? Let me tell you something, you young hippie. The only reason you're blanking out is because you're on the stuff. So get off the stuff. Don't do the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he was the worst actor of Alcoholism, all time. Alcoholism, but he didn't like pot smokers. <laughs> I bet he smoked pot himself. Well, he, was, he loved jazz, and he was friendly with jazz musicians, which is the weird thing. Like, we're, we're, ta- we're talking about Jack Webb, by weird. the way, ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know who the fuck we're talking about. We're talking about... Nah, it. here we go again. <laughs> we're talking about Jack Webb. And, yeah, and, Jack Webb, a legend. Look him up, kids. Yeah, and, and I thought, yeah. I've always thought a terrible actor, you know? Oh, the worst, one of the worst. Uh, but he invented that, um, uh, or, or brought into popularity that understated recitation of lines. Yeah, you know where you it was it was try it was forcing t- itself to be natural. You know. Oh yeah, sure. So man, sure, just like we, monotone, very monotone. Let me tell you this: don't don't yeah, don't show any emotion. Just talk like this. Yeah. It was one note. He knew one note. He played it well, but he knew one note. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, and he wasn't. You know, he did do some good movies. I mean, he was in Sunset Boulevard, which is a classic. Oh, that's right. He had a short part in Sunset Boulevard. He was he was having a swing in New Year's party. Uh, Pete Kelly's Blues, which I saw for the first time with Johnny Winter, because he told me when he was a kid he loved the. That's the movie that made him want to become a musician. So I found him a copy and we watched it on the bus one night. It wasn't bad. Uh, that was, uh, believe it or not, Pete Kelly's Blues. For a very short time, was it, I think a TV show that he had come up with. Oh, was it really? They made it a series for a while. Yeah, and then he uh, either he made the movie <laughs> first or he made the series second. I can't remember uh-huh. which. But I remember Peggy yeah. Lee, I think, was in that movie. Uh, I remember uh, watching Martin Milner, and that's why I got him to gig in Adam Twelve later on. Yeah, and uh, I don't I don't remember who else, but I really I enjoyed. You Bob know what I stuff. always I always appreciated though about Jack Webb. Uh, you know, you, you you marry somebody, you divorce them, you never talk to them again, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much usually what happened. Uh, I still exactly. talk to my ex-wife, but I'm I'm weird that way. Okay. Yeah. Um, he uh, married Julie London. That's she right. She was a singer and 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 an actress. Actually, I think she was an actress yeah. before she was actually a singer. Uh. Uh-huh. And she did Cry Me a River, the original song, Cry, Cry Me a River, in yep. case people want to have a reference to that, okay? Because not a lot fine, of people... Fine song, fine and, ballad. And, and, and interestingly uh, recited by Julie London. Uh, mm-hmm. Interesting performance. And she became a big star as a singer. But anyway, they got married, and then they got divorced. And then mm-hmm. he started producing TV shows. He became the head of production at Warner Brothers for a while. Uh-huh. For TV, yeah. and he came up with uh, uh, the show called Emergency, and yeah. he not only hired her to be on Emergency. This is after they've been divorced and they've gotten on with their lives. She hires her, her. He hires her to be on Emergency, and also yeah. her husband Bobby Troop, who wrote, wrote yep. the song Route sixty six, right? Yeah, and he put yep. them both on that show. So that had to both say, on, yeah. Yeah, that had to say something nice about him, you know. That's a good. That's a great sport. I don't know how many guys could do that, <laughs> and I want to kill both of them. Yeah, I mean, the guy who ultimately wound up with your wife, you're saying, "Come on, let's, you know, come be my show." Yeah. Don't think that didn't come up whenever Julie London and Bobby Troop had an argument. And then Jack's cock was bigger than yours, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, you. <laughs> His cock was bigger than yours. I fucked them all. I fucked Joe Friday. I fucked Bill Gantt. I fucked the kid. And his cock was bigger than yours. <laughs> I fucked the kid who stole the baby Jesus. That's the one they do every Christmas. Oh, by the way, I'm, having, I'm putting an agnostic uh, nativity scene on my lawn. It's the same as the regular nativity scene, but there's no baby. Thank you. <laughs> And you didn't steal. See, that's a joke. Nobody came up with that baby. Yeah, <laughs> nobody came up with that baby. That's yeah. Nobody came up with that baby either. That's right. Right. 
Who did it? Who knocked you up? I can see I can see Joseph and Mary on the Maury show. Joseph, you are not the father. Why you fucking bleep 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 bleep? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So anyway, so let's see here. We've we wax poetic about Jack Webb. This is our fine yeah. Thanksgiving call. You know <laughs> Thanksgiving with Jack Webb. We give thanks for Jack Webb. Um, That's right. Um, thanks for Jack Webb. I went to one of his parties once. He had gray balloons, and none of them were blown up. This is a real Jack Webb party. Is that a joke? Uh, it was an attempted joke. I'll oh. try again. Let's try it again. Let's work that one out. They were gray balloons? Gray balloons, and none of them were blown up. It's a party at a cop's house. Nothing's fun. Oh, I see. Never mind. Oh. I got it. I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. Rewind. Rewind. <laughs> Let's go get the joke doctor on that one. Get yeah. the joke doctor. That needs major surgery and let it die anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, are you, are you were you married or not married? To you? Um, God, I probably I am or what? Yeah, I think I still wait, am. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, none of this in God's eyes. I mean, if in the I'm, Lord's in Sammy's eyes, I'm I'm married, wait. and if I were to leave my wife, she could sue me. All right, because she's married to me. All right. Well, a common law wife. But that means you're together for five years. Or I think I'm not sure. I think but, it was uh, seven. We were together for ten, uh -huh. and we're still together. Uh, she's just in another state. So <laughs> I've been very faithful, so you know. That's kind of like not. Yeah, that, we just got to figure out what we're going to do. Yeah, it's kind of like I didn't lose my job. I know where it is. I just don't go there exactly, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been I've been a very good boy, and there've been some chances here, so. Uh, I'm being a very good boy. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Right well, now, I'm well, busy with the cats and the internet and the pot and the shows and blah, blah, well, blah. Well, why isn't, why isn't she there? I mean, if you don't mind me being nosy. She can't. She has, well, she's not in the greatest shape. She has bad asthma. Yeah. And the air here totally fucks her up. She came here three times, and each time she ended up in the emergency ward because she couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. The ambulance had to take her away. So she can't stay here. And yeah. I am staying here because I like it and there's work and friends and blah, blah, blah. So... Uh, I don't know. So it, it's kind of weird. So I told her, come down now. The air is crisp and it's nice, but she's too broke to come down here. And I'm too broke to send her down here. So yeah. So maybe in January, I can do a couple of gigs. I can like fly her out here or something. Yeah. We shall see. So, I mean, are you, are you, uh, do you, do you have a, what I'm saying is, do you have a relationship or she just can't, she just can't be in, in Las Vegas where you are and where you're not moving from? So that's a weird exactly. situation. It's, it's very weird. I don't know. Nothing about my life has ever been normal. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is right now. So we're just, we, we speak every day. She usually wants to know how the cats are before she knows how I am. But uh, it's, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We shall see. I'm staying loyal. I'm staying loyal. I'm a good boy. Yeah. All right. Uh, and I'm too. I'm a little too old to be too horny and go hunting. So <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm an old man now. Well, you I know, like sex, but I want to watch Leave It to Beaver first. You know, I'm I'm planning on giving up sex completely because once they start all this work on me, I probably will anyway. You know. So. Yeah. Who needs it? Yeah. yeah. Who needs it? Uh, at last, I can have my dignity back. Why fuck anyway? You're gonna be finished anyhow. So yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal? What do you? Why go out? You're gonna end up home again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife. I, I, I. This is the first wife I never cheated on. Uh, yeah. So uh, I, I. And the reason is I don't feel like cheating. You know. Hey, hey, hey I'm too know. tired to cheat. I'm too tired. I'm, Leave me alone. I'm too tired. You know, it's too, I'm too tired to go. Uh, to play that whole yeah. dating Who game, that whole dating game used to drive me nuts, you know. Oh yeah. So do you come here often? I mean, it's just oh, you know, okay. it's ridiculous. If I have to tell my life story one more time, I swear I'm going to kill twelve people. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I have to tell someone my interests, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, somewhere we at this uh, on, in this call we had to kind of stop in the middle because I got a call from my doctor and I uh, it's, yeah it's, life is just uh, so we keep talking we keep kibitzing that's exactly it well listen I I keep want talking. you to have a, a a really nice Thanksgiving uh, and you too my friend I hope you have the best one ever been gave well, nah I don't know I'm just I'm this this one is not one of my happier ones you know. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah. then again, um, my, my doctor says I'm going to live 
Uh, so that's that's the good news. It's just a you ma- bury us all, Graham. It's a matter of all this crap I got to go through. You know. I think you have that Kirk Douglas gene. You're going to be around for a while. Yeah, yeah. They have this one thing they can do to you where they put seeds in your prostate, radioactive seeds in your prostate, and it kills the cancer. Yikes. But you can't get near pregnant women for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Or children Stay under or under the age of eighteen, right? <laughs> you know, uh, Stay away from them blue you become balls. you become this like like Columbia Pictures monster is what you become. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time. Oh my God, time just zips by in a on Mach Five and a Maserati when you're having fun. Have yourself a happy New uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and we'll see. Yeah, don't jump the gun on the new year. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we like got, we got, we year, got a couple more of these before New Year. Then I'll re- re- yeah. wish you a happy New Year. Two more. Take Two more. Hey, hey. Take care of yourself. Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Have a great turkey day. Enjoy yourselves. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there he was, Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, always good to talk to him, our little Thanksgiving version of Stephen Pearl. Uh, had a little trouble getting on tonight. Um, this machine screwed up on me. You know how sometimes uh, I, I went to click on a hard drive, and it, it was having trouble. I get The balloon started going, the spinning thing of death that uh, Max do. And uh, uh, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't get it to stop. And then I had to shut everything down practically, but I didn't, uh, I didn't close off everything, but I had to shut down everything, uh, including the thing that does the video and the audio and all of that. And then the thing suddenly decided to catch in the, uh, the, the uh, page, uh, the, uh, uh, the what do you call it? Oh, God, I'm, I'm just out of it today. Uh, the, uh, oh, forget it. Uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to do all these things and talk to you at the same time. Uh, no, then it, it, then the balloon finally stopped, so then I could start the show going and everything. It, but those people who are listening to the rebroadcast of this won't, won't notice anything, okay? So I just turned on the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, thing here, the, uh, the Skype. Oh, boy. Forget it. I'm I'm out of it. Anyway, um, I got a really funny piece of news for you in a bit. But first, we'll wait to get some calls, and then I'll I'll that will deal with it. Okay. Um, so the lines are open. Let's see if anybody's going to call tonight. This is the night before New Year. Yeah, New Year. Not the night before New Year. It's the night before Thanksgiving. I'm getting ahead of myself. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Look who's here. Look who's here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let me see. I, I just got to gen- then I, I got to push a button here and you can all see. Look, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely, the attractive Kathleen Halstead. Um <laughs> Fresh out of the shower. Fresh, Thank you. Fresh so out I'm of not the shower. stinky on your I, show. I haven't yeah. taken a shower for a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you well, know, you sit around the house all the time, and, and, and you sit ar- around the house all the time, and you uh, you don't. Um, let's see here. I, that'll be Phil on that one. So we'll go here with uh, Charlie Wallace. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. No, so uh, I um, no. What, what happened there? We don't want two of Phil. God, that's 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 that, that's crazy. Hey, Kathleen's number Phil's one twin. Okay, here, <laughs> boom, there we go. God bless it. Um, no, I, uh, I I I don't go out much, and um, I sit around the house and I do a few things. And before I know it, a week has passed and I haven't taken a shower. And the only reason I know is I'm not stinking, but my beard. Look at it. It's, if you can see, it's kind of you know. But um, it's uh, a week's worth of growth. And and girlfriend never says to me, "Hey, you didn't take a bath." Go take a bath that you smell or anything like that, you know, so. 
What have you? So I suddenly realized today I haven't. I haven't. The last time I shower, or the last time I showered was the day before I got that tube up my ass. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be um, uh, fresh for my for my urologist. <laughs> for your tube up the ass thing. Or my tube up the up the ass guy. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, uh, I have a, I have a bit of interesting news, although I'm wondering if anybody else is going to call now. Uh, that uh, I'll hold it off. It's a, it, it, it. Phil, it, Phil is going to love it. <coughs> Phil is just absolutely going to die. Are you going to vote for Trump? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be news. <laughs> yeah, but hey. uh, I'm, I'm I'm about to become six degrees of Donald Trump. However. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, are you having somebody over for Thanksgiving? No, that's no, a, no, 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 no. Better than that. All right, better All than right. that. Better All than right. that. Oh well, uh, Mar Marjorie has uh, no, got a relative no, that it's I'm Donald not, Trump. No, no I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Since nobody else is calling, so fuck them all. Anyway, uh, I, as you know, have prostate cancer. Ta-da. Uh, I have to then go and see an oncologist in order to get uh, radiology done to zap it, which supposedly radiology takes care of it. You know, it's, uh, it just fries it, and it's very susceptible to being fried, and that's good. So I have to go to a, a, an oncologist. And so he recommended this oncologist. He, he actually, his office is setting up an appointment with this oncologist for me. They sent all the stuff over. The oncologist is going to look at it and then get back to me and make an appointment. Okay? I looked the oncologist up on the Internet. Okay? And he's very well known. He's over at Mount Sinai, and he's maybe one of the leading prostate oncologists in the country. Who do you think his patient was? Rudy Giuliani. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He had uh, prostate cancer. He's the guy that planted the seeds in Rudy Giuliani. And so it's his fault. Yes. <laughs> and and now if he, if he does become my doctor, and you know, I'm I'm auditioning. I have to have enough cancer to be able to get him or something. I don't, I don't know what it takes, you know. But they, well, let we have to see the papers first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's okay. okay. Yeah, we could. Well, if I do get him, I just wonder how long it's going to be before I'm somehow compelled to say to him, you know, you're responsible for Rudy Giuliani being around these days. <laughs> That's a good thing for you because if Rudy lived 20 years after uh, yeah. the seeds, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, you'd be happy with that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, and, and this guy seems to be seed happy. He likes his seeds. He's done over 5,000 seeds uh, and only had two deaths in all those 5,000. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You call him Johnny but, Appleseed? Yeah, the, no, most of, Johnny most, of, most of his patients are geraniums. Well, what they do is they put these uh, radioactive seeds in your prostate. Uh, and that's, that's one of the things... The other one that's fast is uh, the uh, cyber knife. Uh, so I'm, what I'm telling him is, I mean, I don't want anything that's going to take 40 days to do. You give me either the seeds, which are known to work, and give me the cyber knife, which is also known to work, and all of them are fast and short, and it doesn't take 40 days. Ask them uh, with the seeds uh, what the chances are that the cancer can come back uh, with the seeds. Uh, almost negligible. I've read it already. Uh, all right, because uh, the oncologist that I, uh, or urologist that I talked to for the second opinion mm. uh, said that the, well, first of all, I couldn't have the seeds because my prostate was Yes, you could have. Uh, no. Yes, it, it, you could it's have. over 60. No, yes, you could have, Phil. What they would have had to do was put you on these hormones, these, uh, uh, these estrogen hormones, which would shrink the prostate amazingly in just a matter of months, and then they could implant the seeds. That's what they do with large prostates and implanting the seeds. You could have done that, but unfortunately, you went to Kaiser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that no, uh, they 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 have a, a cure, a way to take care of that. You're right. If they're too, if it's too big, but my prostate is actually 
normal size. It's it, it's not huge, large. Well, at you've all. been doing for finasteride for, for yeah, which uh, I think may years. have given me the cancer, to be honest with you. But yeah. you know, um, so you don't want to do the forty days, forty nights like the Noah's Ark of uh, I, I, my <laughs> prostate is not a Noah's Ark. No, no, well, no. But what they, you do is you go in every day for fifteen minutes. They radiate you. You go home. You do that five days a week. Well, I have to take a cab over to Mount Sinai five days a week to do that. I don't want. I don't want the five days a week. The cyber knife is five uh, is five visits of about an hour. Okay, it's hyper radiation, or the seeds is a one hour operation, and you go home and you just sit on your ass all day and and uh, and cook. You know, nice. You know, and supposedly it. Uh, uh, from what I've read, the cure rate on 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 that, I mean, pr uh, it, given that it hasn't spread to the rest of your body, that's a whole different right. situation, but that it's pretty well confined to the prostate is 100% survival rate. Okay. Yay! You know. My brother did the radiation. The, uh, what do you mean, the 40-day thing? Whatever it was, it, it, it only took like a uh, two or three months or something. That's all he did. He's not on it anymore. Well, two or three months is, you know, four, yeah. 40 days. Yeah. Yeah. But um, and he seemed to be fine now. How many years ago was that? Oh, this was just this year. Oh, just this year. It was last, oh. last uh, March yeah. when he was diagnosed. Yeah. Well, I will probably go and get my last radiation treatment, walk across Fifth Avenue and get hit by a car. You know? <laughs> That's my fear. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, but uh, so if if you do the hormones, you might grow hair again. No, 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 no. No, no the female oh, hormones, oh, female hormones. estrogen, and who you knows? Know. I doubt. I doubt that. But Chitch. supposedly, <laughs> supposedly, you get hot flashes. <laughs> yeah, my doctor told me. He said the yeah, only really? side effect is hot flashes. Yeah, and and uh, and I I've heard that sometimes you start uh, sobbing uncontrollably, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, maybe that's what John Boehner was on. <laughs> yeah, but I just I just I you know yeah. when I read this whole thing I was you know looking at the him and then and they had some like press clippings and the, I look at the press clipping and it's the guy who. Did Rudy Giuliani's, yeah. uh, which, which you know, in a way, I I felt good about because Giuliani, unfortunately, has survived He's still around twenty years mm -hmm. after his uh, seeds were planted. So you know, um, whatever this this uh, this guy, doctor, I think I should name. Uh, uh, he likes the seed stuff. He's done, as I say, five thousand of them, or at least at last reading on this. He, he, he and um, uh, we could call him a Johnny Apple prostate or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Marjorie's had a friend that was in his 50s mm -hmm. that had the seeds. No, uh, no, no. I no. thought she said, uh, no. uh, you know, because I listened to her when she was no. talking about it. And I think no. the guy passed away. No, he uh, didn't, came he didn't, back. He didn't have the seeds. He, 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 they, I don't know what they did to him. I don't think they did. I can't remember what they did to him, but they, I think he, what he did is he had a bad case of the cancer, okay? Mm. And he, um, I can't remember what therapies he had, but it went away. So he left New York and he moved to Oregon. Bad idea if you're waiting, you know, because you, know, you don't have access to the same doctors, or the same medicine, you know. I mean, while there's great medicine to be found in Oregon, uh, it's basically veterinarians. Uh, no, <laughs> but no, there's great, there, there may be great medicine in uh, in um, in Oregon, but the finest hospitals anywhere are here in New York City. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, you, 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 so what have you? You know. Um, uh, if, if if this is what's going to have to happen, I guess this is what's going to have to happen. My doctor said to me, I said, is this going to kill me? And he said, no. He said, but it, 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 the worst it's going to be is annoying. It's going to be an annoyance. And uh, I said, well, I, I can accept that because I've been all my life, I've been annoying, so it's just life just getting even with me, you know. Yeah. So do you have to pay a... Uh 
what is it that we pay every time you go in okay. to see the doctor? Copay. Okay. Yeah, on every every time they uh, they hit you with the radiation or. Well, uh, it, 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 I don't know. I you know I don't think it's the I same. Didn't ask. I didn't no. I don't think it's the same. I really don't think it's the same. I uh, I think they have to charge whatever uh, Medicare says they have to charge for it, and uh, then my um, coinsurance has to pay whatever mm -hmm. that is. Um, and maybe I do have a copay, but who knows? It may just be something like 25 bucks, you know? So, uh, uh, and I don't care. Let it be a couple of thousand. You know, this is my life we're talking about. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you have some other uh, news coming up. Don't you have a, a court case? Is that, was that Tuesday? No, that's a, that's a week from Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that's right. I got moved to December. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 that, that thing is just, you know. Yeah, I, it takes a lot out of you. Well, it's taken, yeah, it has taken a lot out of me, you know. And uh, a never ending I, story. I may be knocking on your door looking for a place to live, Phil. So don't, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to buy a, uh, possibly buy a lot. And uh, put a couple of homes on it, uh, so that I'll have a retirement, and uh, you know I can rent out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll rent the uh, other place. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You might need it. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you never know. You know. I mean, um, this whole thing just—you know—it gives you such a feeling of impermanence. Yeah. As, as I said last night, I said, I told my lawyer, I said, you know, I said, in the, when this whole thing started, all we cared about was having our home. That's really what we were fighting for. I said, but as the years have gone on and as this thing has been costing us a fortune and as this thing has been eating away at us because you feel the sense of impermanence and this... Uh, uh, horrible sense of, uh, you know, that you could be out the door the next day and things like that. I said, I want a good payday. I deserve just, it. You know? Just remember, they're going to have to rent it to somebody. Why not you? Well, because with me, it's only going to be $1,000 a month, and with somebody yeah. else, it'll be $7,000 a month. I know, but they're stuck with you, and they're stuck with that um, uh, that amount of money, uh, especially since it went to court. Uh, is, in fact, in fact my lawyer said, what it's my lawyer be? said, would you be willing to settle for 2000 a month? And I said, no. <laughs> I said, you know, because of what we've gone through and all the stalling tactics that both this, both parties have been, and not us, but the other parties have been involved in, I want, I want something for my money. And I want it, you know, a decent rent stabilized rent that, that as it should be not that we bargain because we bargain up so that we can keep them happy you know and he said yeah i understand completely you know he said I but, he, know but you're, you're going to get a payday from the other guy that owes you triple Look, damages you know something the only way you ever get a payday is if somebody's got the money to give you a payday yeah yeah you know and he's had five years to hide it well no we he can't do that we have all the information on what he owns and where he owns it Ah, okay. Yeah, they just file bankruptcy and then you get nothing. Well, they could, but uh, they file bankruptcy. But I think here in New York, uh, uh, a home is not protected from bankruptcy, but they do have a home in Florida, which I suppose hmm. is. Uh, but, you know, it, it's not so much that as uh, uh, I, I think the biggest loser in all of this is, is going to be, okay, the landlord. Okay, this mm -hmm. is my, if I were to take bets on who was going to come out worse with them having to pay him, okay, but then he is coming out second worst because he's going to have to pay us, and that will be most of the money he gets from them. <laughs> yeah. So where does anybody wind up? He doesn't have his apartment back, which he's not going to get. There's no way that's going to happen now. Yeah. And he spent how much money over how many years to do this, you know? So, so uh, here comes here comes Tony. Here comes Tony. I heard you've got the same doctor that saved Rudy's life. 
Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I fell out of bed. I said, oh, God, this is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I looked I well, at Trump for well, a I don't, I don't have him yet. Okay. But, um, you know, he is, he is, he is one of the ones who are, is auditioning for my prostate. You know. <laughs> Does he take lefties? I don't know. I, I got a letter from my doctor today because I wrote him. I said, you haven't let me know who to call and whatever. And then his, his, uh, assistant called me and said, uh, I'm, I'm calling this doctor's office as Dr. Stock is his name. And his uh, real name is Dr. Sphincter. Uh, Dr. Sphincter. <laughs> uh, and I, and, and she said, uh, and, and then she called me back and she said, I called over there and, uh, they wanted me to send over all the information, all the, all the, you know, the workup and papers and the, the biopsy and the pa 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 And, uh, then they will call you next week. And then I got a note from him saying, here are two names. Uh, call them and take the first one that will give you the earliest appointment. Oh, wow. <laughs> he said, let, them, <laughs> let them fight for you by giving you the earliest appointment. You know, so. But I would imagine with an oncologist, they don't say, oh, hey, we'll see him four weeks. You yeah. know? Oh, you think he's right away then? Oh, I think. Wouldn't you say that, Phil? An oncologist would want to see it pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, they don't. They don't want any liability. We, we, in the, yeah, we have an open. We have an opening in Jan, in uh, January. Well, it might be dead by the prostate okay. may have <laughs> invaded my entire Come body on. by that time. You know, don't even go no, to sleep. I'm no, right uh, off. I'm uh, right. Just Proctol just wants to be known as an asshole. Oh, come over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. Boy, Kathleen's on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> Kathleen, hey Charlie, uh, Texas roll as long as I've known her. Okay, yeah. Texas is blowing up. I, I heard uh, Houston. Well, uh, uh, some well, plants explode. Yeah, because we have no regulations. The Republicans are in charge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, I think well, going to fight character coach. You know, I'm yeah. thinking that it's it's the cartel retaliation because Trump today said that he was going after the cartels. And he wanted oh, to do yeah. it in conjunction with Mexico, but yeah. Mexico was saying yeah. that they don't want. Yeah, he's uh, going after the cartels. Yeah, Mr. Rambo. It's Rambo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but on. now... Did you see that you know, picture he released? What? He's uh, going to go after the guys he gets his drugs from. <laughs> where he put his face on, on Sylvester oh, Stallone's body from yeah. Rambo. Yeah. No, I didn't see that. Did that somebody do Trump? that? Yeah. He tweeted that out today, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's had an active day. Today... Uh, he signed a uh, law that uh, 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 against China and uh, the Hong Kong and how they're treating Hong Ooh, Kong. Ooh, they're gonna hurt. Oh yeah, that's well, it's hurt. against the law. No, no, I mean it's good. You know, I mean what they're doing is absolutely terrible in Hong Kong. But whatever he does isn't going to help. Well, that's the law that may end up getting him impeached because now he signs this law and. Mm -hmm. For some way, they'll find a way that he violated it, and uh, and they'll go after him. No, I mean, you can write up things with your punitive. You make a punitive statement, and good. I'm glad he's making that statement. He wouldn't make that statement, however, against, say, Russia. He wouldn't make that statement against the Ukraine. He wouldn't make that statement against Saudi Arabia. But because he doesn't like the Chinese, he's happy to but, be know, on the right side of things for a To change. negotiate what he's trying to negotiate with the Chinese uh, taking this position. But this law this wasn't man instituted is the worst by him. This man is the worst negotiator. Well, no, no, no. This, this, ever. this, this, uh, this bill uh, came up from uh, the Congress. From Congress, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, went through the normal channels and came to his desk. Now, he could have said, no, I'm not going to sign it because I'm trying to negotiate a better deal with the Chinese. But he said, no, this is the right thing to do. I'll sign it and I'll still negotiate a deal with the Chinese. He's not going to negotiate a deal with the Chinese. Not no. even in your wildest dreams, because you need a negotiator for that. Well, you know, uh, I was watching Lou Dobbs today. Oh, good. And, oh, good. And, yeah. yeah. And, there, there's uh, a source well, for you. They're saying that the Chinese economy is, is feeling the, uh, you know, is feeling the effects Phil, they're, of they're, what's going on. They are, they are, it's like a gnat biting your ass. Yes, you feel it, but after you scratch it, it goes away. Okay. We'll that, see. 
That's his That's effect. Bill, I think that bill is called BS six six six. Yeah. How, how how's that whole how's the that doors whole, of hell? Huh? How's that whole North Korea uh, deal going? Uh, it's going pretty good. No, uh, really. Oh, yeah. tell me about it. Yeah, he 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 visited North Korea. No, yeah. no. I mean, after and that, the after of- that, it doesn't seem like uh, anything's happened there. Uh, it takes time. Oh, it takes time. I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. Uh, what's uh, Jung Un done lately? Has he set off some bombs? Yeah. I that's guess like he has. what I'll have to be saying soon. Uh, well, that's give me some time. Maybe I can get it up. You know. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't. I don't know that it's over, but for a while, until the nerves reconnect, uh, it ain't as good as it used to be. Have your nerves reconnected yet? Nah, nah. No. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I got. I got cut. They they cut your your urethra in order to remove the prostate. Because yeah. if they cut the prostate, that might have released uh, cancer cells into your bloodstream. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but, but uh, you know, I mean, uh, I, I figure, uh, I, I, I figure, I'll have my dignity back now. You know, yeah. well, I, I had a good run, you know, and uh, it was just over a little sooner than I hoped. But, but when I, when I, you know, when I take these female hormones, I probably you could suck my tit. I guess. <laughs> He's such an ugly woman. I, I'd say lick my pussy, but you're going to have to wait about a year until the whole thing grows inward. It falls in. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Identity crisis. Which bathroom are you going to go into? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, so if, if you went to jail, <laughs> they'll pay the for the transition. Thing. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Go into the army yeah, or go it, go to jail, and you can get your, and you can do the transition. I don't want the female hormones. I mean, go to I like me, I, my mom. I, I like it. I like being <laughs> able. To, I like being able to get a hard on and things like that. But I've decided that I better jerk off to all the porn I want to right now because pretty soon I'm not going to care. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, since you had the biopsy, are you still peeing red? No, 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 no. Uh, but. Uh, but and that was only for like the first forty-eight hours, maybe. That was it. Oh, really? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Lasted a lot longer on mine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did. I did have an orgasm. Don't tell. Was girl, it red? Don't tell girlfriend this because I was jerking off. Okay. Yeah. Was but it I wanted red? to see if it was still working. Oh yeah, I bled. I bled. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. yeah. Yeah. I bled. But isn't this wonderful, folks? This is a new our new format. <laughs> This is our new format, oh. bleeding prostates. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Well, in another in another thirty it's seconds, it's time for uh, identify the flower shop. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, it turns out I got a thing from the guy who said, came up with Harold Occasion last night. Yeah. as being the flower store in San Francisco that was an advertiser of mine. And a cup by two, by 2007, he was having a fight with the city of San Francisco because he had one of these outdoor flower. Uh, things on kiosks, uh, kiosks on uh, on uh, Post Street, Powell, at, oh, Post at Powell or in Union Square, off of Union Square, yeah. and yeah. Uh, the city was revoking his license because it had graffiti all over it, and it was it was a mess. And he said the reason was is that he wasn't uh, taking care of it because they were doing a whole bunch of building across the street, and there was no more foot traffic, and he was waiting for the building to be finished so that he could then. Rebuild up this whole. So it was a big. Fight. I don't know how it turned out. I, you know, I, I just saw the one article. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, you know. Harold was a nice guy. I liked Harold. Good guy. Yeah. You know, I think he that, had good flowers. I'll, I'll never forget his name now. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, hey, 20, 25 years go by, and uh, it's it's easy to forget. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so you know, I uh, pretty much. Um, you know what age hasn't done to me? I guess uh, uh, medicine will now do to me. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, but I had a good run. I know. I know the feeling. <laughs> I was going to say, right, Kathleen? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. You know. Yeah. So uh, your Thanksgiving, uh, you're getting prepared for it? To begin cooking, with, you know? I don't feel like Thanksgiving, okay? Because this whole thing has kind of got me, you know, it, 
yeah. it hasn't got me as bothered as as I thought it would get have, get me because now I know what I've got and then what's so all I'm worried about now is what is done to take care of it. Okay, so I start worrying about that, but I'm not worried about whether I have it or not. Yeah, uh, my I um, I kind of put it out of my mind for a while and said I was just too busy to deal with it. Yeah, and uh, you know you may just want to say, hey, there's nothing I can do. Uh, I'll do what I got to do when no, I got to do I, it. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. But you know, I mean, I just I just don't want to get any bad. Uh, Oh, happen to say, well, you know, they do have to give you like a, a CAT scan just to make sure that it hasn't spread. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you, they put some, uh, they put some in your uh, in your wrist. They inject some dye. Yeah, I know, a radioactive I've, I've dye. I've had CAT scans before, Phil. Yeah, I've had them quite often, actually. Uh, yeah. Not for my prostate, but for uh, my uh, my uh, uh, colon. Uh, mm. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, my colon, yeah. Because they were looking to see if I had any uh, diverticulitis, but anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, but 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 I don't think it spread. I mean, I think with a two point uh, f uh, four point two PSA, you know, that's not yeah, you know, and plus uh, uh, out of the out of th uh, two, uh, what is it? Um, uh, oh, the Gleason, the Gleason, uh, you know, something like. Uh, uh, or three, well, three, four. Well, six, six of them. Uh, well, I, what was it? If they were, let me put it this way: the majority of them were three, two, uh, three, uh, three fours. Okay, which yeah. is good. The two that were th uh, four threes, one was three percent, and one was fifty-seven percent. So it, that's not much of it. It's not really hot, you know. Yeah. It's not like uh, uh, my whole prostate is taken over by. Whatever, but anyway, um, do they ever figure out what causes it? No, to they, this day, I don't know what they, causes. They don't it. know. They don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Masturbating about four times a week, five times a week, believe it or not, prevent uh, is a good Prevention. way to keep from getting it. Yeah. So I have no oh, idea well, why well, I have well, it. it. I mean, it, I did my job. You know, I only did it until I needed glasses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oldest joke in the world. Um, but anyway, that was you know this that was my my whole deal. Yeah. Mm. So who knows? I mean, I, I don't think it's it's that progressed or anything. It's, that it's gone outside of the prostate itself, and it will. Uh, you know, if that's well, the case, I can probably have any of these. Uh, you know, take one from column A and two from column B. How many people that call into your show have had prostate cancer? Mm. Well, there's you. Yeah. There's, there's Vernon. Vernon. Uh, Kevin has had several uh, biopsies. Yeah. But, and, you know. And uh, there's, uh, there was Hajik and uh, now you. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you say that tens a full house, 50% of your audience is uh, <laughs> is getting cancer from this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so I didn't have incident? cancer before I called into this show, but I got it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it, it's true. It is yeah. true. Well, I mean, you also got it at a much younger age. You got it in your early 60s. Yeah, yeah. 63, I think. 63, which they, then they worry about it a lot. At my age, it's like, their attitude is, you ain't going to live that long anyway, pal. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you that the new age, average age in America has gone down three years to 78 and a half years is, is the average age that men live. And Phil, that's higher than it has been. No, no, no. It used to be no, uh, a few months. No, it was. 78.8 or it something. It used to be like 75, and it's really? gone up. Uh, and the, it's always gone up, up until the last three years. And uh, according to the yeah. news thing that I saw today, yeah. it said that it, uh, this is the first time there's been a decline in the average age in America. By the way, that was Trump. It was three caused years by Trump. Trump, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. well, it was caused by Gabnet. By the way, Tony is either uh, a doing something for his mother or putting a pillow over her face. One of the, uh, you know, you had another yeah, guy, like, oh, wow. uh, John, uh, that, that, uh, you know, uh, 
died, uh, you know, during after the show. Well, John, you know, Rock, I, well, John Rockwell. Yeah, he was yeah, our first yeah. our first cabinet death. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, if you don't get cancer, you just wind up on the floor for three days before somebody finds the body. You weren't around for that, Kathleen. That was John, Thank John, God. John Rockwell. <laughs> and yeah. he was dead. They found him in his apartment, I think. He'd been in there for a couple of days or something before yeah. that. Where did he live? Huh? He's uh, not living anymore. No, I mean, where was he from? He New, was York. New York. He used to wow. work, I used to work with me over at Midnight Blue. And Jeez, and, uh, and then he became a regular caller to this show. And then uh, we didn't hear from him for a couple of weeks. And then somebody called me and said he's dead. Oh, geez. Yeah. Well, yeah if, I, if I killed over, nobody would know about it for at least a week before my kids started saying, hey, we haven't heard from Dad. Well, if I died, if I dropped dead, I would be in this apartment for at least four or five days before they found my body because Marjorie wouldn't even notice it. <laughs> Do you have neighbors? Huh? Do you have neighbors? Yeah. Not until the smell. Yeah. Oh, are you finished putting the pillow over her face? I had to put Bengay on her now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Did you I'm wear gloves? Be, what is no, your mind you folks? Mind you folks, if you, if, if you, if you want this, oh, you know something? We, I, I've got to, I, I, see, here's how, how fucked up I am these days. I didn't put those. Tony Page up thing. with Tony. Yeah. Well, that's okay. He was gone for 45 gone. minutes of yeah. the, I the last have, half hour. No, I find I'm doing something. Like last night, I didn't post the video of my show on the GabNet page. I just, I, and I think part of it is this drug I'm taking. Yeah. And, Everybody and, needs some drinks. <laughs> What's and, it called? Maracas? Yeah, it's called Maracas. Uh, um, um, uh, no, and, and that. And, uh, I think it also had to do with the fact I'm just so kind of like disoriented because of the, you know, the information that I got. So I, then I went, oh, I didn't post the uh, the show last night either. I didn't do it on Facebook either. Now the horrible part is, you know, nobody's listening when nobody complains. Hey, you didn't post your show. <laughs> it's on YouTube though. Oh you yeah, it's, oh, on, yeah. It's, on it's on YouTube. Yeah, but but uh, it wasn't posted to my Facebook page and it wasn't posted to my. Uh, well, maybe yeah. people are just in the habit of going to YouTube now to watch it. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, uh, yes, you can go to YouTube. Uh, there are other places you can go to. Oh, Kevin. I've been told to go to a lot of places. Hello, Kevin. How are you? <laughs> you took your same spot you had last night. It was like it was waiting oh, for good. you. It's still warm. Yeah, yeah, it's still warm. So now we have, let's see here, one, two, three people who have had prostate biopsies. Okay, good. On at the same time, you know. It's but that's because. the worst. Kathleen too. can't have one. Tony and I are in the clear. <laughs> well, we don't know about Tony yet. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for my colonoscopy next year. So next year, uh, in the winter. Uh, oh, you, have you ever had a colonoscopy? Not yet. I'm the last one in the family to do it. So my well, brother who was, was telling me they got a colonoscopy and, and their doctor didn't put them out. Uh, no, they did put them out. They did. They had to drink that liquid, I remember, and then they no, went in. No, 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 they no. did the same thing. Oh, that's it. They put him out. My brother says, you wake right up, and you don't even know anything, he said. It's just like, boom, it's over. Yeah, but no, no. But yeah. what I'm saying is I've talked to somebody, I think, on this program once who said that he had a colonoscopy, and the doctor didn't put him out. Really? And I went, Is it fast? What, the Kaiser? Because they said it was quick. <laughs> well, I, I've had a, what was, what's the other thing you have? A, a sigmoidoscopy. Which, I had that. which is just a little part of the colon. And I've had that without, you know, being put out. What's that? You have to fit kit. liquid? Or? Your what? Uh, the, the fit kit. I'm supposed to take a crap and uh, put the crap on this and okay. uh, mail it in. Uh, oh, is that just as good? Well, you, they give you a bag, too. It says yep. biohazard. Yep. And uh, the, instead of a colonoscopy... You get this, well, but then I I still this, have to have well, I, 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 I think it would be fun right now if you put, did the whole process for us. For oh, absolutely. <laughs> so you got this piece of paper yeah. and you put it across the toilet. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and the reason you put it across the toilet is so you can capture the poop. Uh, but you know, I guess you, you like could also the UPS man. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine you lose the poop. Yeah. Well, the, the, oh, no postage necessary. 
No, 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 no. let's be prepaid then. Phil, is that as good as a colonoscopy then? No, no. The, but if you don't have uh, a history of of this stuff, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. I, I hate to I hate to mention this, but it looks like Kathleen has not paid her electric bill. How is that? She just put on something to keep herself warm. Oh, it's I cold as it. fuck here. This, yeah, it's this cold. This is from like kids. 1990. In and California. I to, and I wore it to work last week, and these broads were like, oh, my God, where'd you get that? And I'm like, um, it's from like circa 1990. Were half of you even born then? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it is so cold. How cold is it? My dog refused to go out for a walk this afternoon. Oh, yes. I, I drove home from war, work to walk the dog, yeah. and she, she came to the door, and as soon as I opened the door, she went out about six, seven inches, and she just stopped yeah. and, and said, yeah. I'm not going. Really? So, yeah. And so I went. I, then I, instead of going down the stairs, I took her over to the elevator. She rode down the elevator. We went out to the, uh, to the atrium area, and she wouldn't go out the door. Wow. Then I took her to the front of the building, and she again wouldn't go out. It was raining, you know. Yeah, but, but so what's the temperature right now? It's, where it's you are? forty-three fucking freezing California wow. degrees here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I got a. Well, well, wait a minute. Let me this. see what it is here. Uh, and that's for us Californians. That's fucking cold. Yeah, that's pretty it's cold. It's forty-seven in Tracy. <laughs> I gotta find it's where I hit the icon. Forty-seven in Tracy. It's, it's fifty-five down. degrees in New York City. Wait a minute. Oh, it's colder better, here. better yet. Echo, what's the current temperature? Uh, How the fuck do I know? <laughs> oh, I thought that was second. Take your head out the window, Alex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me see here. Let me, well, I, I got to turn up the volume on this so that when I... There we go. Oh, okay. Echo, what? Uh, what's the temperature? Echo, what's the temperature? Echo, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Expect a low of 45 degrees. Okay. It's warmer in New York. Yeah, it's warmer yeah. in New York. Yeah, we had, we had a real cold spell going for a while there. Oh, you know, we got it now. Yeah, we got, we got the, uh, what do they call it, the cyclone bomb cyclone or something? Yeah, shit? something like that. Yeah. Bomb. Well, anyway, as soon as I, as soon as I get this, uh, I get this uh, whole cancer thing taken care of i'm taking some time off and i'm g going on a trip and one of the places i'm coming out to is california so all you people have to see me <laughs> come mm. on out you know uh, we'll all have dinner and it's on phil we'll yeah go to Monterey. <laughs> it's 41 it's 41 degrees in walnut creek damn and it's cold and, and it, yeah. it, you know I mean, you go outside during the day, even when it's not raining, it feels like it's raining. I, Ooh, it's forty-five and a light rain. You mm. know, when I was uh, when I was at, living in Houston, Texas, yeah. I knew a guy. Okay, so anyway, uh, you knew a guy. Yeah, no, I knew a guy. guy. I knew a guy who built a little contraption, and what it was was he built a brass monkey. And he had on this brass monkey testicles. <laughs> and below the brass monkey, he had a metal pan. Okay? And he had the thing made so that if the temperature went below 32 degrees, the balls would fall off the brass monkey and go into the pan with a large clank. <laughs> So this guy had a lot of time on his hands. Yeah, uh, he, yeah. Apparently. So people would be living in the neighborhood and they'd be able to tell this temperature whenever they heard this clank go on. From the monkey's the balls monkey. fell off. But well, it was Houston where the uh, the um, uh, plant, uh, some sort of uh, chemical plant, blew up this yeah. morning, was it? Yeah. Uh, and for yeah. miles. This afternoon. Yeah, and for miles, people's windows and doors were blown off their hinges. Mm -hmm. Where was, the hell was this? In Houston. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to wake up. 
Yeah. It was right next to one of our old competitors' plants. Hey, yeah. hey, by the way, we uh, we have uh, we have uh, Doctor Renati. Hey, hey, Doctor. How Ren- y'all? Doctor Renati, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. uh, would you get fired from your play? No, we closed on Sunday. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. And I just want I could I needed to wish you all a merry Thanksgiving. A happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's, it's happy Thanksgiving. It's Merry Christmas. <laughs> I know, but I like to be different. It's um, yeah. Uh, Happy Hanukkah. Bang your own drum. Yeah, and then we get uh, some of those uh, other holidays. Kwanzaa. What do you say for Kwanzaa? Uh, what do you say for Kwanzaa? Yeah. Hey know. man. <laughs> hey, hey man. <laughs> oh, oh. Yo, what's up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't you hate those fucking Kwanzaa sales? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. You get trampled at the Kwanzaa sales. Well, they have their own version of Black Friday. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh, ladies and gentlemen. I'll oh. be here all week. Damn. Damn uh, Char- indeed. Let's get Charlie's opinion on this. <laughs> yes, Charlie. <laughs> we didn't even have Kwanzaa when I was growing up. So. When did that start, Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa was started like last week. In the 80s or 90s? It, well, yeah. actually, it was invented by some professor at some college, right, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. And um, and that was and that was when Elizabeth Warren <laughs> <laughs> Indian <Yeah>. Christmas. <laughs> no, what 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 what, 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 what? How long ago was that? I I heard yeah, it was. Google it. It was probably the nineties or eighties. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me look it up here. Quantum. Yes. Ask uh, Echo or. Yeah. Ask Echo. Oh. Okay. Hey, okay. oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hey, Echo, when was the first Kwanzaa? The answer is 1966. Wow. Really? Wow. 1966. Yeah. We, were, we were unaware. Yeah. Who invented Kwanzaa? For the civil yeah. rights. That's okay, okay. Hold on a history. second. Who invented Kwanzaa? Oh, Echo, who invented you, Kwanzaa? Mr. Kwanzaa. Yo, mama. No. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't hear the, know, because you kept talking. I couldn't I'll hear the answer. If broken. they said Bill Cosby, I'm going to laugh. Dr. Karenga searched for ways to bring African Americans together as a community. It's Dr. Co- oh, yeah. Echo, who invented Kwanzaa? Dr. Maulana Karenga, professor and chairman of Black Studies at California State University. Oh, it would be California. Dr. <laughs> yeah, it's Dr. Cunnilingus. That's why I hadn't heard about it. Oh, I'm switching over to that religion. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's got a there's a prince in Nigeria that uh, wants your bank account. Hey, listen, you know, in my lifetime, <laughs> in my lifetime, I've been, you know, always into technology and always hot for technology. I got to tell you, the best invention ever in my entire life has been this fucking Alexa. Oh, uh-huh. I listen to the radio. I, I mean, I can't tell you how many things we use it for. I use it to turn the lights on and off. I use it to uh, uh, add things to my shopping list. You know, you're going to oh, pay a price for that. Bad. Your your privacy price, and I will tell you why. Totally. I, I was talking to somebody the other day. My phone was in, was on my person, mm-hmm. and now I'm getting advertisements for the yeah. thing that I was talking to them about. Right? That I didn't even search. Evil. Yeah, it listens to what you talk about, and yeah. it starts sending you advertisements. It's true. I started. Ha- I had one in my bedroom, and then I started getting like catalogs for sex toys and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, you know, it, it hears what you say. Yeah, yeah and, it does. And, it, and it's processing it. And uh, so, therefore, you know, what's going on, that could be that part that that uh, Chinese company uh, that's banned, uh, Huawei or uh, Huawei. 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 Hey, hey, Alex, Alex, you inspired me. Check this out. Hey, Google, turn off Office Light 1. Hey, Google, turn on Office Light 1. Hey. hey Phil, press the button. Oh, <laughs> oh <that's easier. laughs> yeah, press it again. Analog. Yeah. Ah, it's so boring. Uh, well, well, hey, hey, hey uh, Alexa, turn off the on the air light. There we go. Hey, mm-hmm. Alexa, turn on the on the air light. 
Oh, cl- well, you should be able just to clap. See, I, I, I had it so my other lights were on it because, you know, they're all like the light bulbs <laughs> all have Wi-Fi in them. Yeah. But the problem was the lights, the brightness wasn't an, as much as the brightness was on these lights. And I, when I was doing the show, they just kind of like, I didn't have the, uh, enough light in here is what it was. So I had to go back to just using the regular bulbs for that. But I can Why still don't turn. they come out with the Simon Says? Oh, yeah. Simon Says. You know what they're selling in California? They're selling bulbs that uh, have a battery in it. So when they turn the electric off, you still have light bulbs that are uh, that are working. Uh, and listening. Have, yeah, and listening. Have, have you... <laughs> It, I'm sure they sell them everywhere. Well, see, I don't give but, I don't give a shit if my privacy is impinged upon. I have no privacy. Yeah, I, I I I gave up my sense of privacy years ago. You know, I I gave up on that. Uh, I just figured it's the price you pay for technology, and uh, you know, just don't uh, if you don't want it. Uh, uh, there are things you can do, like like this uh, Alexa I have here. I call, it's called Alexa because if I say Echo, it, it reacts. Echo! Oh, don't sh- shut up! Shut up! Don't do that. Have your earplugs in. I have my earplugs in, so I couldn't hear. But wait a minute! Uh, 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 there, I turned up my speaker. Go ahead, say it. Uh, Echo, turn studio lights off. Doesn't like oh, you. Bitch, oh, don't oh. like me. Oh, it, di- it didn't turn it off. It clinked, but it went. Wait a minute, hey, on. Google. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me a sigmoidoscopy. No. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, just use this, the fit kit. <laughs> yeah. Echo, turn off studio. There we go. See? There we go. Echo, turn on studio. Shazam. Echo, turn on studio. I do not wish to turn on there your we lights. Go. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, eh, what the hell? What the hell? So, fun toys. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we're not on tomorrow night. We're not on Friday night, and we're not on Monday night. And then I got all next week, and then uh, Tuesday and Wednesday I'm off because I've got the the court thing. I know it got to be there so early, you know. Well, and I'm off. I'm gone the seventh through the eleventh of December. The seventh through the eleventh of September of December. December. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday through Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we we miss you for two nights on this show. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, Maui. Why? Maui. I'm going to scuba dive for three days. You're going to scuba dive for three days. Yeah. Well, it's one day to travel. Yeah, and then three days of scuba diving, and then one day to travel back. No, oh, okay, all right, go ahead, yeah. do it. You, you, know. you know, you know, it's uh, uh, you're not going to you're not going to beat my friend Shecky, who's leaving me for a month. Yeah, where's he going? He's going to Antarctica. Wow, <laughs> that is cool. It's I cold it, actually. It, it, you it's know, right right now. It's 81 degrees in Kihei, which is uh, the southern part of Maui. Yeah, but... Uh, 81 a, a, a right now. Wait a minute. Echo, <laughs> what's the current temperature in Antarctica? It's probably cold. 60 <laughs> below. I bet. It is colder no, than 50. it is. I, I asked for Antarctica, oh. and it gave me New York. <laughs> Well, maybe New York and Antarctica okay. have the same temperature. Echo, what's the temperature in Anchorage, Alaska? Right now, in Anchorage, Alaska, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And, same as Walnut Creek. Yeah, it, really. It, wow. And, and it's raining. Right? It, and now, would the sun be up right now in Anchorage, Alaska? Uh, no, it's winter. Isn't it six months oh, a year it's dark and six months yeah. a year it's it's I, light? I can't remember who the comedian was. Oh, it's, it, it was Billy J. It was Billy J., a comedian named Billy J., who mm, calls me one night. I'm, I'm at home in San Francisco, and he calls me, and he says, Alex? And it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I said, yeah, Billy, what's the problem? I said, he says, uh, I'm in Alaska. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, I'm doing a gig up here. I said, yeah. He said, I can't go to sleep. I said, why? He says, the sun's out. 
Close. And he's in the same time zone, isn't he? In a, yeah, it was like in the same Anchorage? time zone. Yeah, this, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, check this out. Check this out. So you know Truckee, California. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's yeah. often one of the coldest places in the country, uh -huh. and I don't know. It's in. A, it's like in a bowl, you know. Yeah. So right now it's nineteen. Hmm. Nineteen degrees. Yes. Yeah. Well, cold. then you can sleep with it legally. Like it can be nineteen in Truckee and like fifty in Tahoe, which is two miles away. Yeah. So mm, that's I mean, crazy. Yeah, I know. I know it's crazy. Uh, uh, <clears throat> what uh, what famous movie was filmed in mm -hmm. Truckee, California? Uh, Other than a witch's and, tip. Uh, <laughs> men with trucks. No. Uh, Cold pursuit. Uh, American Graffiti. No. Very oh. famous silent film. Oh, uh, 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 Charlie Chaplin in no, no Buster Keaton no. in yes Buster Buster Keaton in in ah, the one where the building falls no uh, no, oh, no, uh, no Buster Keaton in I don't know the general the one where the uh, train uh, okay. falls off the trestle I love that movie and collapses I, into the into what I think was the Truckee River I yes. keep turning up the volume on those movies and I don't hear anything. <laughs> That's what all Trump supporters do. It's like, how come there's no volume? Yeah. Well, they didn't have they didn't kidding. have just kidding. They didn't have sound, but they weren't silent. You I know. love Buster Keaton. He's oh. my favorite. Yes, he Maybe. is my favorite. I love him. Then you got ripped off. You bought a silent movie and they put sound in it. You know? Either they're gonna give you silent or they're not. Well, there's music. They just had music. Yeah, well they've they've gone back and they've done like symphonic scores for them or, or full orchestra scores for them because that's the way they showed them in the main theaters in New York. The only time you ever got to pianos and organs was out in smaller towns and cities. Uh, hey, well, Alex, we have one in Palo Alto. We when we went to the Castro, they had a silent film festival, yes. and they fired up the Wurlitzer. And they, but they also had an orchestras there playing too. Yes. Yeah. We we have a theater oh. on University Avenue in Palo Alto that plays movies every night, and a guy plays the Wurlitzer before every every well, night before the two what's double that? feature. What's that? What's what's the big theater in uh, the old theater in uh, in Oakland? Um, Paramount, Fox. Paramount, the, the Paramount, Grand. the Paramount, the Paramount, the Fox Theater, and I, and and Grand. Marjorie and I and Shecky went to the Paramount to see oh. uh, the silent film Napoleon, which is five and a half hours long. <laughs> Damn! And we watched it, and we watched it with a full symphony orchestra and an original nice. score by oh, Carl cool. Davis. It was, Marjorie still says, it's one of the most memorable nights she's ever had in a movie theater. When I first nice. told her, well, we're going to this thing, and she said, well, get me a ticket, too. And I said, okay. Then she said, five and a half hours of a silent film? And they gave you, the, and halfway through, they took a break, and you went and got dinner, and then you came back. Okay. Nice. But she finally, when it was over, she said, that was the shortest movie I've ever watched. She said that thing <laughs> just flew by because it was so yeah. good and with the orchestra and everything. And at the end, the last half hour, the screen opens up into a three-paneled screen like oh. Cinerama was. But this was in silent days. And wow. and and the and the, the music swells up. And I mean the orchestra the orchestra was playing for five and a half hours. That's mm -hmm. amazing. I, you know, it was amazing. Absolutely. I hope they were union orchestrates. Uh, they I hope were, they got uh, overtime. Yeah, uh, they were. Yes, they were union. You bet your life. Oh, good. But Carl yeah. Davis is very famous for doing movie scores of silent films. And if you uh, and we, I'm telling you, it was one of the just one of those memorable moments in a movie theater for me. You know, and then I uh, that was also the week that I married uh, Marjorie. We went up to Tahoe and we got married up there. Uh, Truckee or Tahoe. Basically, oh. because because Kathleen truck is too cold. I, to I, get married. I, I, the reason I got married is basically Kathleen wouldn't have me. So you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, oh God, Kathleen, man, you blew it. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No. She, <laughs> Maybe she did. No. If you listen to girlfriends <laughs> say it, she actually got off. <laughs> yeah. She was lucky. <laughs> She got off the train. She was lucky. She turned tail and ran as fast as her little feet could carry her. Tell them about the time you, 
I love the story about the time that you did the running of the bulls in Pamplona. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> you went to Pamplona, Where red? right? Yeah. And, and was that at Alex's suggestion? No, and no. man, never had I run as fast as I did the, there. The way you described it is when you were through running, like you had the white pants on and you had yep. this red scarf, right? And I think maybe a white yep. shirt, because that's what you wear when you do the running yes. the bulls at Pamplona. And she said, after it was all over, I took my pants off and there were heel marks on my yeah. ass. There were heel marks on my ass. From a bull or a person? No, from my feet. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, so Hemingway did that. How did he do it? And he wasn't sober when he did it, right? And he had a cigar. Yeah. That's people, crazy. People, people get hurt every year doing it. Was it scary? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. they, Sometimes they get Don't killed. they say that you have Same. to stay away from the walls? Uh, you yeah. Know, you, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever done the running of the Schwartzmans? Like all, the, the whole. <laughs> Sorry. In San Francisco, we used to have the That's yearly funny. the yearly running of the bull dykes, but that was another thing altogether. <laughs> now they're on bikes. Did now they're, they're still, on bikes. I wonder if they're on bikes. <laughs> oh, man. Excuse me, I have to get a sore the running throat of lozenge. the winos. I have, I have to get a sore throat lozenge. I really shouldn't worry about sore throats because you know, when you have cancer, sore throat's the last thing you have to worry about. <laughs> yeah, you should just enjoy the sore throat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you don't do anything about it, it'll fall off by itself. Yeah. Hey, listen, if I don't do anything about it, I'm probably still going to die of something else first. You yeah, do no. have cancer now, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh. yeah. He's yeah. joined the the club. Yeah. Cancer. Yeah. So it's it's chemo. It's not chemo. It's a, a, a what do you call it? Radiation. 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 Cancer. Oh, you don't have to get it, the surgery like Phil. Yeah, I was listening last night, but I didn't hear the part uh, that you said you had it. Okay. Well, I was just listening to Phil talking about his. I think if Phil had surgery, were, I, I think we're, if guy. Phil were here in New York or didn't have Kaiser, I think he might still have his prostate. It's my yeah, theory. Yeah, well, it's Kaiser. Yeah. I don't want to make you feel bad about that, Phil. No, there's well, no, hey, there's no way we can go back. I, I just, I just said I want to, I want to be able to get a night's sleep. Yeah. You know, I don't want to wake up ten times a night anymore. Yeah, well, you know, no, I was getting up every hour on the hour, and oh, that's uh, like being pregnant. And you know to uh, pee. You know, I just and think I think your doctor's in. Were you drinking too that much? Well. No, no, it's no. the prostate. You, know, you can't. Hey, it was hey, sort of like hold, hold on, to for you. Hold you on, know? Tony. It's going to happen to you. <laughs> I mean, if I drink a lot of coffee and tea at night, so sometimes I I'll get up. A yeah, few no, times. no, no, no. You don't know this. Uh, I know uh -huh. this. This is this is when your prostate starts getting enlarged, and you have a, an urgency to pee. Oh, five, six times a night, or more. Or more. Yeah. yeah. More than six? Oh, it's oh, terrible. Yeah. Why don't yeah. you just so hook up a catheter? You probably get tired then. I had the catheter when I came back from the operation. It was the easiest thing in the world. You know, you, you didn't have to do anything. They had a bag just wear attached the pens to it. To bed? Uh, I, after they took out the catheter for about you three, four months. This. I had to. I had to wear. Uh, Go to a, Costco and get them, like a giant box. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Faye used to pick them up. I don't know where the hell she. You know, got that's it. the reason I didn't want to have my prostate removed because every time we go to Costco, with Mark. <laughs> We have video of it. She goes up to the Depends and holds it up over her head and says, "Alex, they've got your Depends on sale." Yeah. <laughs> and and I just didn't want to ever give her a reason to believe that. But I'll tell you what happened. I don't know what what it was. And maybe she's gonna be mad at me for telling this story, but there was a period of time there where she had a problem where she was, for some inexplic inexplicable reason, peeing her pants. It happens. There's a yeah. drug you can take. Well, no, but uh, now, yeah. but then it went away. She's fine yeah. now. But sometimes she still laughs. So maybe she'll pee her pants. You was know? this when you first got married? Uh, no, I think I caused oh. it afterwards. Anyway, oh. uh, no, but anyway, she would have this problem. She, so, it probably happened because she was calling into the show so and it, at, at yeah. one point. No, she, she said, so finally, she said, would you get me some of those? I know they aren't the pens. They're the other kind for women. They have flowers on them or something. 
And I got her some because she, and I can't remember why she was having the problem, but it did go away. I mean, it wasn't a permanent thing, but uh, it, it could have been an infection. She probably never been... talked to me now when she listens to this program and hears that I talked yeah. about her pee, peeing her pants. But so you, it's, you, you've said it before. So it stopped with you, Phil, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When uh, I was in my mid 30s, I had a really bad prostate infection and I, I ended up in the hospital for a week. And now ever since then, every time I pee, I have to do like this maneuver. It's kind of a maneuver I have to do to maneuver. get it all out. A side step. Oh, yeah. I can show it to you if you want. Oh, really? <laughs> Alex has been waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we noticed that, Ray, when you were peeing up at UCSF. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> So. Yeah, yeah, you had you had this little jiggle, and then you, then you. I have to do like key. this thing. What did you? Would did you stand in the stall next to him and look over? You know, come on. <laughs> no, hey, like the, what's that junk off. over there? <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, what has become yeah. of this program? Tell me, <laughs> tell me, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's, program has gone some, to the crotch. Tonight's program. Alex complains about his touch of the cancer, and uh, you know, well, oh, I have a, I have a medium, uh, medium uh, cancer here. It's not. It's not the kind. The that, actually, I'm kind of glad it's not the kind where they watch and wait. You know, because I'm doing something proactive about it. You know, so. Is it medium or smedium? It's medium. Thank you. Medium. <laughs> medium. Schmendeman. Small medium. Small, small medium. Yeah. Was that like a word that you two had when you were together? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. But she, she we, we did call each other. No, when I worked at UPS and they they say, okay, we're going to order you guys some polos. When they said, hey, Halstead, what size? All the guys would say, medium. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But here's Get the thing. Medium. Here, here's the thing. We, you did, you, you came up with the term schmoody, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you would call me schmoody. Yeah. And I would call you schmoody. Yep. And when we would do it in public together, people would start vomiting. <laughs> it was like that Seinfeld <laughs> yeah, episode. Yeah, well, no, but then they, Snoopy. no, but then they became that Seinfeld episode after we had done this. Totally. With the they were like, hey, that's our line. Uh, yeah. So did you write Seinfeld and say you wanted to get paid for it? Well, they, you know, they like, were, uh, uh, the word they, well, they used Snoopy and we use Schmoody. Oh, I bet Schmoody's they heard about it yeah. somehow. Schmoody. Yeah. Well, that's why they changed it to Schmoopy, you know, yeah. uh, because they, they didn't, didn't want to get to sued. But wait, but yeah, you, but, you know, my sweet Lord and uh, you're so fine is, you know, yeah. two different words, but pretty damn close. Yeah. Yep. And, yep. and they got money. But 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 uh, Schmoody was uh, uh, I don't I don't know how you came up with that. You had never used it before in your life, had you? Uh -uh. No, no. Nope. And it wasn't every guy it wasn't, she dated it was Schmoody. It wasn't Come meant on. to be. It wasn't <laughs> no. meant. It, it wasn't meant to be cute. It was meant to be annoying. You know. Totally. You know, around other people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Schmoody. Oh my. God. We spent most of our time, and then we'd use it in our cards to each other, Schmoody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, and then of course our biggest con job, our our complete biggest uh, um, uh, put on that we ever did was that Christmas card. That was a oh, classic. Oh man, I, I'll have to put that up. That is just the best. Hey, yeah. You know, today was uh, is, is this today Jimi Hendrix's birthday? He would have been know. seventy or seventy-seven, something like that. Uh, I just noticed that the coaster uh, that I have on my desk is a nice. Jimi Hendrix. Uh, mm. it, it's the label from a Jimi Hendrix record. What do they do? Uh, they they, on a, on a, they oh. made coasters out of them. Oh, they made coasters out of them. Yeah, and this one's called Crash Landing. Uh, message to love somewhere over the rainbow, Crash Landing. Uh, really? I never heard of that album. Oh, yeah. you're right. They're, they're in Sunrise 75 Man. today. Yeah, seventy five. Okay. Oh, there's a website dedicated to his seventy fifth birthday. Oh. Birthday. dot com. It's pretty cool. Yeah. This mm. was uh, Repi Reprise Records. Reprise. Hmm. Reprise. Yeah. 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 Well, it's rubbed off. It's it, it, it's hard to it's hard to <laughs> read. It, it, it's the one that Frank Sinatra owned, and the logo was a steamboat. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what, what? the... Uh, the oh, oh, oh. The logo? The steamboat. Old Man River. <laughs> that old man no, the river. Well, you know, th- this thing's been sitting here for uh, two years. I use it every, you know, every time I, you know, to put my drink on. And uh, I just said, oh, it's Jimi Hendrix's birthday, and it's a Jimi Hendrix coaster. By the way, I loved hearing wow. that, Ray. He sounded just like uh, uh, Bath Robeson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Frank Sinatra used to sing that song for some freaking reason. Yeah, he did do Old Man River. He didn't do a bad job of it, though. It wasn't no, embarrassing. No, but why would he sing it? <laughs> it was, I, it was like, I never could figure out what the It was the flip side to New York, New York. River. No, I've got one. Uh, Light My Fire. When he did Light My Fire later on in his career, that was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. Light my, my fire. fire. Oh, Shat- William Shatner did oh, well, Light yeah, My Fire. Also. Oh, yeah. And he also did. He also did Sweet Caroline. Yeah. Sweet Caroline. Hey, Sweet Caroline. Caroline. Hey. Oh my God. No, Alex Amelda Marcos singing Peelings. <laughs> Oh, yes, <laughs> this is true. This is true. Phil, like Phil has a Phil. Uh, 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 they're uh, selling her shoe collection on eBay. They have a Philippine. Uh, Phil has <laughs> a Phil uh, has a Filipino. girlfriend from the Philippines, <laughs> and so he would appreciate the fact that we actually had a recording of Imelda Marcos because she was yes. a singer. Oh man, singing peeling. That was the best. <laughs> We're dying laughing. Everybody in the Philippines is a singer and an entertainer. It's true. Yeah. You know, yeah, they uh, love karaoke. Faye, Faye is from a family of 15. She has 13 siblings. And wow. all of them sing and entertain and have bands. And, you know, it, it's amazing. Uh, or act. That's the uh, worst thing, being a middle child in a family of 15. She was a, she was a triplet. <laughs> <laughs> she was a, she was a triplet. A and, triplet. Uh, yeah. That's even worse. The middle and, child of 15 no, and a triplet in the middle. Well, no, she was the oldest of the triplets, but uh, well, you know what a turned, minute apart. Okay, you know what Were tur- they identical triplets? Yeah. You know, wow. what, you know what turns me off? Uh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, what, uh, <laughs> yeah. What, what, what turned me, uh, what, what, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, what turned you off? No. The triplets? Triplets, yeah. music, triplets, uh, triplets. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The one thing that turned me off most about the Philippines, yeah, and would make me never want to go there, are the ah. are the fucking shirts they wear. Oh, you yeah. ever see those shirts? And then they wear them with like a tank top t shirt underneath, so you can see yeah. through it. To oh, that. I hate those. Why do they do that? I don't know. Who came up with that hot. fashion? It's fucking hot there. Yeah, well, I understand that. So but take it's like your, those, those take, nylon shirts that like they look like they're from the seventies and they got those like weird designs on the front and yeah. then they wear the they always wear the tank top undershirts. Tony yeah. Soprano wear shirts boots. like that. Yeah, but he's a goomba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a goomba. <laughs> we used to call those wife beaters. Yeah, yeah wife beaters. Wife yeah. beaters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah wife tank beaters. tops. Yeah. 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 So anyway, uh, do you, uh, uh, we should go around this panel and ask them what they ha- are, have to be thankful for. Oh, geez. Mm. Uh, I, I'm going to save. Uh, let's see. I'm going to save. Yeah, skip me because I have nothing. Well, uh, you have stuff Thank to be you know. thankful for. You have. You have. You can be thankful for just having the, this fine camaraderie of friends here. Yes. Yeah. You know. Actually, I have a lot. Your son? Of what? Yes. Yes, There's your nobody son. to talk to in Tracy? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, she... That she, speaks English? She just had her mother pass, so that, yeah. that, that kind of... When a holiday, when a holiday like this comes yeah. along, it makes it oh. kind of worse, you know? Oh, it sucks and, and because she, we always spend it up at my parents'. Yeah, and yeah. Didn't you have a friend that passed away? Recently? Yeah, my best friend's sister freaking passed away, too. Oh, wow. It just hasn't been a good month. How but old? no, you know, there's a lot of things I'm thankful for. Yeah, like what? Well, my son, you know, my friends, you guys, yeah. you know, all my friends at work. I mean, there's a whole lot. I mean, there's just a, too much to mention. So, you know, I really can't complain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, Phil? What do you have to be thankful for? 
Mondays, I see the chiropractor. Fridays, I see the rolfer. I am very, <laughs> uh, I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm here. I feel pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm going scuba diving next going week. Diving. Uh, you know, li life is pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm going to be sitting under a palm tree in the afternoon and, you know, swaying to the, uh, to the music of Don Ho. You know, sand I, up your don't. ass crack. Oh. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Oh. I, I dive off boats. <laughs> yeah. And so when you dive off a boat, you don't end up with sand in your ass. Uh, uh, Charlie, what do you have to be thankful for? Well, well, like Kathleen said, I'm thankful for you guys. And I'm thankful to be back in Austin. You really like it back in Austin, don't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. And he's not in Houston. Because if he was in Houston, well, he went. You know, it he, would be the bomb. He went to he went to uh, Arizona. What? Uh, in order because your girlfriend did, right? Yeah. And then you broke up, and you were stuck in Arizona. Stuck in Arizona, all by myself. Yeah, oh, yeah. That 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 always stinks when that happens. You know, my uh, flight goes to Ari to to Phoenix before I go to uh, yeah. Maui. Uh, I, I got to transfer planes in Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to get to be in Arizona too. How do, why do you have to go to Phoenix in order to get to yeah. Hawaii? How is he flying? It? Can we just go right? Uh, the I right flew. There? I fly on American, and that's where I get my miles. And this flight is putting me over the threshold to where I get the gold medallion or whatever they call the uh, uh, the twenty. Sphincter. Yeah, the twenty five thousand <laughs> miles sphincter? threshold. Yes. So uh, at the twenty five thousand mile threshold, that means next year. I get early boarding and nice. forty percent bonus. Wait a minute, twenty-five thousand miles. That's a lot of flying. I flew this year, twenty-five. Oh, you have to miles. do it in a year because oh. I have yeah. something like I just checked. I have something like two hundred fifty thousand miles. Well, th those are those are points. Uh, I have if you have flight miles. I mean, you know, you get a hundred thousand flight miles. They they kiss your ass. For with the twenty-five thousand miles, I get to board a little bit sooner, uh, and uh, that you get a bonus, uh, a forty percent bonus on your flight miles for miles, but not for flight miles, and uh, you get some upgrades and things like that. But so this year, uh, I will have whatever it is that I have to look and see what the name of that is because I won't get it till January, but. Uh, but I, this trip puts me over the threshold. So, so you uh, you you actually went through Arizona, so you get these fucking points. Yes, matter of fact, you can from San I, Diego, right? I, I, how, I how picked, I picked different flights so that I could accumulate enough uh, flight miles to to you know go through. I could have. How much gone faster to LA. would it have been to go directly to Maui from San Francisco? Two hours. <laughs> 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 How long? But, but how for long? the two-hour difference, yeah, uh, I get my uh, little card. I, I guess got to look and see what it's called. <laughs> Thirty-five thousand miles. Oh my Perhaps god! Just flying San Francisco to New York eight times. Well, yeah. Well, uh, so what I did this year uh, is I had two conventions. I went to Chattanooga. Uh, uh, no, Chattanooga was last year. I went to Nashville. And uh, and I went to the Bahamas, and uh, I flew first class for part of it, and that got me extra flight miles. By the way, uh, did you ever hear the story about the uh, time that uh, Roy Rogers was out uh, camping one night, and they had these new boots, and he put the boots outside the tent. When he came back the next morning, uh, they were all chewed to bits, and there was a, a wildcat leaving, a, going away, who obviously had chewed up these uh, uh, these boots, and uh, somebody looked at him and said, hey, Roy, is that the cat who ate your new shoes? Uh, no. <laughs> Pardon me, Roy, is that the cat who ate your new shoes? Okay, that was it. Okay. All right. What? So, you're going to land in Phoenix, and you're going to get snowed in, and you're going to be like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Phoenix is not snowing. Uh, no, so, yeah, 25,000 miles, it's called Gold One World Ruby. If you go 50,000 miles, it's platinum sapphire. Sapphire? So Ooh, holy smokes. Yeah. Sapphire. <laughs> down, at, down at the lodge. Yeah. <laughs> and then what do they do for you? Uh, I got to I, look. There, there is no uh, blowjob sure. involved, Ray, so how good can it be? You know. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, uh, well, I'll find out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you did 25,000 miles in one year. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I used to hit that. I used to hit that years ago when I used to fly Delta because I went to Europe once a year. So that would get you some miles. And I was going to Hawaii scuba diving several times a year. And, but um, I don't now, I don't travel that much. And I've got 250,000 non-expiring miles. Right. Because those are credit card miles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're getting a lesson here. This <laughs> is good. Yeah. But, but, but this I, is suddenly, I suddenly we talk about I suddenly found that I've been used, <laughs> for, for a while. I got I used my American Express I card at Costco going down the runway. And I, I accumulated all of a sudden I realized I accumulated all these dollars on my American Express card, which I was then using on uh, uh, on uh, um, um, equip, uh, you know, on Oh God! I'm just yeah. You're that. on Dipping. Amazon uh, to you know pay off some of the stuff. So now sometimes I put stuff on my American Express because I got so many miles that I don't give a shit about putting it on my travel, you know, my mileage card. So yeah. So well, yeah. well that was yeah, interesting. The, the, the mileage it, thing is, I uh, when I went to Australia yeah, the first, yeah. the yeah. second time I went to Australia. I um, had okay. Delta Miles. Okay. And Delta's partner was yeah. Korean Airlines. <laughs> and, well, I had a flight. <laughs> the flight took 36 hours. Well, you know, folks, if you come to the internet to, for, as a total waste of time, you're getting your money's worth. Okay? Uh, I have yet to ask uh, Kevin. Kevin, what are you thankful for? He's thankful for my hair miles. What's paper baskets? <laughs> what are you thankful for, uh, Kevin? I'm thankful I just launched after that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's thankful for the batteries in that thing in his back. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it just went dead. I got to go downstairs oh, and oh. fire that baby back up. Yeah. Uh, okay, but uh, you anything you're thankful for? Yeah, I'm thankful for uh, you guys, my grandkids, my kids, my wife, my family, you know, all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah, the stuff I never had. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> uh, rub it in. Go ahead. Uh, Ray? Yes. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for all of you. Yeah. Uh, let's see why. I am thankful for Kevin because he, he reminds me that someone can have more physical pain than I can. <laughs> And still be totally cool and bitching. Mm -hmm. I am uh, thankful for Kathleen because she's so hot, gorgeous, and has <laughs> big Winnebagos. Is that your wife and, behind you? And, <laughs> not here. and I am thankful for Phil Meyer because it proves to me that I can actually have a friend who I agree on with almost nothing and still be friends. Yeah. I didn't know that was possible. Yeah. And thankful for Alex for doing this. So that we can all get together and talk about, you know, the world and yeah, all that stuff. And I'm thankful for other stuff like uh, my house and my soundboard. All right, enough of what you're thankful for. Okay. okay. You know. I mean, I could go on. Yeah, yeah of course. Tony, Tony's oh, thankful oh, I have for to world that, peace. Oh, I forgot about, oh, wait, I forgot about Tony. I'm thankful for Tony's wallpaper and his mother at the attic. <laughs> and I'm thankful <laughs> for Charlie who puts up with what some people might call racism on here. <laughs> And okay. finally, finally, we uh, we have asked everybody except for one person. Tony, what are you thankful for? Oh, God, here we go. That my mother's alive and I'm getting paid. <laughs> oh, God. You got a job. And she's snoring nice. <laughs> Could you bring her on sometime? Oh, no, no. No, no, don't. Show us a picture. No, I can't you a picture? picture? Ray, small. our imaginations are more important. Yeah, oh, you're right, you're right. yeah you know yeah. what? I think that's the best part. Than I'm ever, thankful for than Tony ever, being on. Than ever a seen great her, laugh. his mother, you know. Uh, but She's thanks God, up. Tony got. Uh, Tony used to work a job where he had to stuff hats in the hat boxes, right? <laughs> yeah. I used to think about that all old day old long, weekend. right? And he got out of that oh. job because he found a way to make money off his mother. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's like the best thing. I, I, he's always scheming something. And, and when she dies, I, he's going to sell her for parts. You know, this, I mean, <laughs> this needs to be a TV I show. I'm not going anywhere. I, you just keep her in a rocking chair in the attic. You don't have to I don't do understand it. how he worked at all. I got so many texts a day. <laughs> From Tony, yeah, 40, 50, it. 60 texts. You weren't the other one. I used to text my brother, my friends. I said, what are you doing? I said, I'm just listening to something. This guy, Phil, you got to hear the crap he said to me. I, I find Phil entertaining because he's actually funny. I can't <laughs> believe I said that. He, like, makes me laugh. I was like, oh, my God. I guarantee I, you, but Larry, actually, Larry David could make a TV show out of Tony and his life. He probably yeah, could. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you. Easily. 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 Larry David's <laughs> character yeah, is Tony. <laughs> I, a rich version yeah yeah but uh yeah well but i don't Tony's see rich. here i we i didn't yeah. say what i'm thankful for not a goddamn fucking thing i've got cancer oh, come on you gotta have something <laughs> yeah i've got a thing i call aol and it opens <laughs> up and it goes you've got cancer <laughs> oh, no. At least they're taking care of it, Alex. Yeah, they you, found it, you and you're taking care of it, and it's all good. Yeah, I guess it's all good. You know that Tony is the comic book king of Queens? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but anyway, can I say what I'm thankful for? I'm thankful for, uh, uh, for uh, just the, the camaraderie that I have with you people and for having good friends like you people, you know? And, and uh, uh, you are my friends because I, I really, uh, here in New York, I have no real friends except for Shecky. And so you guys have become my surrogate friends. And, and I talk to every night. We talk to each other more than some of us talk to our wives, you know. Uh, so that, that's, that's all good. And I, uh, I think the world of you. And uh, and I'm very thankful this year that Kathleen has joined the bunch, too. So at yeah. least we have some, you know. Yeah estrogen in the room you know uh, that that always helps anyway uh there comes a theme song mm. we'll be off tomorrow night folks and we'll be off on uh, uh friday night uh and then we'll be back again on uh, on on tuesday night uh, 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 the Kathleen, thank you. Tony, thank you. Uh, Phil, thank you. Uh, Kevin, thank you. Thank you to Charlie and thank you to Ray. Everybody, give a big, big wave Bye. goodbye. See you. And Cheers. I will wave back <laughs> at you. Happy okay? Thanksgiving. There we Happy go. Happy Turkey. There Happy goes Kwanzaa. our there goes our uh, our people uh, on the citizen panel. And now I will unceremoniously hang up on all of them and make the line available to our next program, which happens to be Jack Bishop. He's going to be here with a little program uh, called, interestingly enough, uh, The Intersection. Uh, so enjoy yourself, okay, everybody? Uh, have, a, have a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, we won't be on tomorrow night. We'll see you again on, what is it, uh, Tuesday night, right after uh, Dave, Jamie, Damian Chaplin does the exchange. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you then. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.